What lures mankind deep into the heart of the jungle? Is it the hope for a new cure to disease? Eureka! The cure for all diseases! His unquenchable thirst for adventure. We should be home watching the Nature Channel. Or is it simply for some fun girl time? Decorating coconuts? Can I do one? Magnolia. I needed some girl time, so I thought I would hang out with these orangutans who are not very ladylike and have no sense of color. George thinks maybe Magnolia needs to be stronger. <laughs> George, I'm pretty strong. <laughs> okay. If Magnolia follows George's simple 19-step plan, you too can look like this. Is one of your steps gonna include getting me out of this bush? Hey, hey, are these heavy enough to use for weights? <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Drawing up a workout plan for Magnolia? George will start with a warm-up, followed by, uh, hmm. <sighs> Exercise? Ooh, oh, that's good. Finally, someone to teach George's jungle fitness secrets to. Ooh, what are your secrets, George? Yep, can't tell you. They're secret. <laughs> what, what? Is the hut on fire? Oh, did it burn my new lip gloss? A fan at him! Time for Magnolia's first Be Like George workout! <laughs> I'm up, I'm up. Uh, you wanted to be stronger. Let's get stronger. Can putting on mascara count as a warm up? First exercise is Tiger Run. What? Will we run and pretend that we're tigers or something? Oh, <laughs> no, that would be crazy. <laughs> it's where we run quick before the tigers eat us. <laughs> Okay, with this exercise, you should feel a stretch in your legs. What about the pressure I feel on my hands and feet? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's normal. 10, 1,011, 1,000, oh, 1,012. No, oh, oh, wait, okay, start again. George, get me down from here. <laughs> and rest. Okay, good job, stretch it out. Next exercise, upside down vine climbing. Hmm, I pass. But we're only halfway done with our morning warm up. No, exercise just in for me. All this moving around, it's exhausting. There must be an easier way. I quit. No more be like George coconut recipes. No more be like George energy bars. No more. Be like George Whistle. Are you sure you want to give up everything? Yes, except be like George's bike shorts. They're very comfy. So, you want to be strong? Yes. But you don't want to do any of the hard work. Right. How do you feel about taking baths? Now we're talking. Is that a mud bath? <clears throat> you see, once the warm mud has opened your pores, these 100% partly natural cellular level muscle mutation agents attack your bloodstream. That sounds dangerous. Yes, but it works very fast. Hmm. I usually have something fizzy and perfumey in my bath. Lavender bath ball? Mm. But don't soak too long. It's still experimental, and there might be some slight side effects.
What you need is another client, like this large gorilla. Uh, you look different. Uh, new, new haircut? Feel like George's workout is on. Oh. George worked out too easy. <gasps> so, how did Magnolia enjoy day two of the Be Like George workout program? <laughs> George thinks she got a lot out of it. <laughs> Dinner. Oh, it looks like someone is hungry. <laughs> Let me just get you a fork. Uh-oh, time for my bath. You could use some scrubbing. Can I borrow your loofah? Don't hurt me. I'm too furry. Magnolia? Uh. Hmm. Uh. One more bath. I don't think it's such a good <laughs> idea. Our best hope for a cure lies in this pool. These chemicals, in conjunction with the water's high sailing count, will cause anyone that goes into it to shrink. <laughs> ah! Observe. <laughs> a way to get her into the pool. to get Magnolia to that shrinking pool. Or soon, Ursula's hair will look awful. Hey, hey, easy. What's that smell? Strawberry cotton candy? Ah! Ooh, lip gloss. Pretty. <laughs> More lip gloss. Maraschino cherry, peppermint candy cane, caramel latte, cinnamon red hot, peanut butter mocha! Mm, 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 mm. So pretty! Vanilla frosting? Oh, my favorite! How do you feel? Like a beautiful cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like George's workout plan worked after all. <laughs> I think there are some pretty cool orangutans you can learn all about the wonderful world of lip gloss. Ah, just what George needed. A nice bath. <laughs> Oh, 
frolic, frolic merrily, merrily. Little does this meerkat suspect, as he frolics merrily through the jungle, that he's being pursued by a ferocious tiger, wily master of camouflage. Frolic, frolic, frolic merrily, frolic, frolic. Mm. Ah. Oh, hello, zebra. Wait a minute. <laughs> a door, you know. Yeah, George had a good day at work. Just saved a meerkat from a tiger. Good lunch, too. Really enjoyed tube of candy. Tube of what? Did I leave my new marshmallow lip balm here last night? George, that's great how you saved the meerkat, but don't you think these smaller animals depend on you a little too much? Oh, give George one example. <laughs> What? Saves them two hours of gnawing. George, meet me at Howie's. Signed, a hungry predator. Come alone. I know your whole save the tiny animals thing is your thing. But us big guys are tired of getting pounded just for doing our thing. Maybe big guys should be nicer to small guys. Talk to them. Bunnies can be more than lunch, you know. Hey, we gotta eat. Hmm, okay. George is thinking. Another smoothie, Howie. This is gonna take a while. We are here to teach you to stand up for yourselves using self-defense techniques. <laughs> Do you think George will be mad that we're doing this? Oh, of course not. Think how much work we're saving him by teaching these guys to take care of themselves. Let's get things started. We need a volunteer. You, chameleon. Uh. It's time to take back the jungle. The days of relying on George are over. Hi! Think about it. No more George using you as a punch balloon. No more cringing when you hear a swinging vine. All we gotta do is lay off the little guys and eat these instead. What is that? Fruits and vegetables. They're high in vitamins. And the best part, they don't run away from you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> there's no more getting beaten up by George. <sighs> you know what the greatest feeling in the world is? Finding a three for one bathing suit sale no one knows about and getting all the best stuff before your friends get there? I was gonna say helping the small and defenseless. Oh. I'm just worried that George will be mad that we didn't think he could fix the problem himself. All we did was give a few critters some self-esteem lessons. That's just helping a little. Yeah, right. He probably won't even notice. Okay. But if there was a three-for-one sale, you would tell me, right? Huh? Huh? Take that! <laughs> I always my fuzzy foot. Want me to kiss it and make it better? Uh, time to put those glasses to work. Hey, it worked. He didn't need us. <laughs> Come back. We just wanted to offer you some homemade yam fries. Oh. 
I'd better get George. Oh, I sing of hogs and power. With praise they should be showered. Not dipped in egg and flour. And hungrily devoured. What just happened? The scary spider of Spider Cave is spinning silk scarves. The vampire bats are drinking herbal tea. All the animals who are supposed to be scary are acting wimpy. Yep, George came up with a pretty smart idea, huh? You did this? No, 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 no. You wouldn't upset the natural order of the wild, would you? Oh, natural order wasn't so great. Way too much growling and screaming. But that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, Ape is upset for nothing. It's not like all animals are acting different. <gasps> Your vegetable garden! Want some asparagus, brothers and sisters? Get him! He's This nut spread really makes smoothies better. Have you all seen my almond style in jail? <laughs> That's weird. I could swear that leopard just ordered a vegetable smoothie. Sure. That's part of George's smart idea. George got all predators to eat vegetables and fruit. Oh, right, George. Can you imagine? What? George is serious. Now they won't chase defenseless small animals. <laughs> it's the Hare's Angels! Run! Bark your hogs, boys. What are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Hey, Chuckles, you're sitting in my seat. Sorry, let me dust it off for you. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Uh, we just sort of uh, taught the small animals a few self-defense techniques so the big guys would leave them alone. Haragia! Dance, fur ball! You trained the animals to do this? Whoops. Uh oh. The jungle has rules, and you turn the jungle into. into a crazy jungle! Oh, look who's talking. You made all the predators into a load of tea sipping sissies. Crazy jungle. Hmm. George's gonna have to put on thinking lips for this one. <laughs> uh, George wanted to get an opinion on what to plant in new vegetable garden. So, what should it be? Fish's prey? Wimpy predators? Any ideas? How about eggplants? Eggplants? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, then we'll go with predators. Meeting over. Whoa, 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 hang on. Why are we gonna go with what they say? Because they're bigger? No, we say carrots. Hey, predators, are you gonna let them boss you around? No. We are the main vegetable eaters around here now, so we suggest eggplants. Well, maybe we don't want you eating any more of our vegetables. Your vegetables? Your ve Your ve Here you go, little fella. Your vegetables? Why don't you just find something else to eat, huh? Uh, maybe I will. Oops! <laughs> um, put up your dukes. <laughs> huh. Natural order makes me happy. 
Where are you going? Georgia, to save little guy. Bad kitty. It's just no pleasing that guy.